When Surly opened 30, its $30 million destination brewery, beer geeks around Minnesota and the country were excited. The beer is awesome, oh, yeah. but the real surprise inside has been the food. This morning to Russia Eats shows you how they serve huge crowds. For Minnesota beer lovers, Surly Brewing Company's destination brewery is a dream come true. 50,000 square feet of gorgeous architecture, incredible beers, but the food was the wild card. This place is crazy. Yeah, it's nuts. <laughs> Chef Jorge Guzman runs all the food at Surly with crowds so large it's more like running a hotel or a casino. I mean, you look at it, you come to work and you're like, I'm going to feed 2,000 people today. <laughs> Just like Surly is different from most craft beers, the food is different from what's inside most tap rooms around the country. A lot of what we were getting was french fries, burgers, pizza, cheese curds, pretzels, just, you know, on every menu. And we didn't want to be that. We wanted to be a little bit different and set the bar higher for what beer and food could be. This is probably the only brewery in America that has a farro salad on the menu, right? It's a stunner. The nutty grain with perfect smoked salmon and an egg soft-boiled for five minutes. That's really good. That is very good. The charcuterie board is massive with riettes and terrines of pork and rabbit. Fred Flintstone would love the bone marrow. I just like to go for it. It's so good. Barbecue is key to Jorge's menu. Why barbecue? It's awesome. <laughs> His team can smoke a lot of it in advance and serve it up quickly. I think it's the best brisket I've had in town. It was really good. You've never had to pair food with beer before, no, have you? No, never. Is it hard? It can be, yeah. Um, but it can also be a little easier than wine because of what you can do with beer. You can make beer taste how you want. Never thought that Minnesota would finally have an awesome beer scene. Head brewmaster Todd Haug is known for bold flavors like the hoppy and citrusy Furious, but don't expect beer battered anything. We believe that beer and food go well together, but it's they don't have to share ingredients. 70 cooks, nine chefs, and Jorge have been working around the clock. People come to Surly for the beer, but they're coming back for the food. It's a challenge. Why would you want to shy away from that? It is a challenge to think of the number of people they serve in there. They have event spaces, so there are weddings happening, meetings. There's a fine dining restaurant upstairs called the Brewer's Table that is phenomenal. They've got the beer garden outside. I mean, 2,000 people, a busy restaurant mm -hmm. on a Friday or a Saturday night, maybe does three, 400 covers. So wow. 2,000. Well, there's always a crazy wait. I mean, when you make an afternoon of going to Surly, you know you're going for three or four hours. And you don't mind because it's such a fun atmosphere. I just had a girlfriend in town this weekend from out of state, and I was like, this is one of my favorite places to go. So you, we went. You don't have to wait if you're Jason DeRusha. Oh, okay. Well, Kylie, <laughs> that Lewis is not true. Get away with the that. last time I was there with a group of six, they told us on a Friday night it was going to be an hour and 45 minutes. And they were spot on. It took an hour and 45 yeah. minutes, and so it was you, great. Time to have a. You yeah, yeah. It's a good <laughs> business operation, too.